Greetings, beloved congregation. Today I stand before you as Brother Wes from Knights of Paradise Ministries to delve into a profound truth that has the power to transform our lives. Happiness held is a seed, but happiness shared is a flower. This powerful metaphor not only resonates deeply with our human experience, but is also richly supported by the teachings of the Bible. In the book of Proverbs 11.25 it is written, A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. This scripture illuminates the essence of our message today. Happiness, much like a seed, holds immense potential when it is nurtured and shared. It is through the act of sharing our happiness, our blessings, and our love that we truly allow it to blossom into a beautiful flower. Consider the words of Jesus in John 15, 11. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. Here, Jesus speaks of a joy that is not meant to be hoarded, but to be shared, thereby completing our joy. This is a divine principle that when we extend our happiness to others, we not only fulfill our own joy, but also cultivate a community of love and joy around us. How can we apply this in our daily lives? Let us begin by looking at the small seeds of happiness we possess. It could be a kind word, a helping hand, or a simple smile. When we hold on to these seeds, they remain dormant. But when we share them, they have the potential to grow and spread, creating a ripple effect of joy and positivity. In Acts 20.35, Paul reminds us of the words of Jesus, It is more blessed to give than to receive. This act of giving, of sharing our happiness, is what turns our seed into a flower. It's in the selfless acts of kindness and generosity that we find true fulfillment and happiness. Let us also reflect on the story of the Good Samaritan in Luke 10, 25-37. The Samaritan's actions were not grand gestures, but simple acts of compassion and kindness. His willingness to share his time and resources transformed a moment of despair into one of hope and happiness for the injured man. This is a powerful reminder that our small acts, when shared, can have a profound impact. As we go about our lives, let us remember that happiness held is indeed a seed, but happiness shared is a flower. Let us be the gardeners in God's kingdom, sowing seeds of joy and love wherever we go and nurturing them through our acts of kindness and generosity. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ guide us in sharing our happiness, and may we all witness the beautiful flowers that bloom as a result. Amen.